Greetings, I'm Jackie Bird, and this is a mindfulness moment. In my previous video, I talked about the undecideds, you know, people that can't ever seem to make a decision. They ask you and everybody else for what they should do, come down to clothing, everything. What should I do? Never a, de a definitive decision, always looking to other people for answers and then not listening. <laughs> you know, you have a friend like that where they ask you their opinion, your opinion, and you tell them and then you tell them again and you tell them again and they don't listen. We do that too. We do that in our minds. We're like, I don't know what to do. I don't know which way to go. I don't know which way to turn. And hey, that's part of life where you feel confused. But this is about gaining clarity. How do you gain more clarity in your life so that you are not in that undecided phase for every single thing? Um, a very wise person said to me, make a decision and get behind it. And I was like, hmm, that's some good advice because when you get behind whatever decision it is that you make, you make it the right decision, even if it doesn't reap what you had hoped it would. But there's nothing like making a decision and then second guessing yourself because that just adds to your anxiety. And it's really about how can you live with less anxiety, with more inner peace, and not drive yourself and everybody around you out of your, your ever loving minds. Gaining clarity. You know how you have those, what we call, aha moments? Oh, oh, that's it. And it's so clear. There's no question about it. Well, you don't always get those moments, right? You don't always get the aha moments. Sometimes you don't get them until years later after something, uh, an incident or a situation, and you made one decision, and then years later you get that aha moment. Oh, I see why that didn't work. You don't always get those. Sometimes the, the, the moment of clarity is very quiet. Sometimes it's just a very still feeling. And sometimes we overlook those because they're too quiet in our minds. Oh, you know, you go with the loudest voice in your head. And a lot of times the loudest voice in your head is the one you shouldn't be listening to. Because a lot of times it's like the voice of your mother or your dad or an opinionated aunt or an opinionated friend or the critic, your inner critic. Those people in your head, they yell loud they because they're shouting over all the other voices that are clamoring for your attention. And it's no wonder that a lot of times we are confused because you have all this mind chatter going on. And to gain clarity, you really, really, really have to get quiet. And I find that for me, sometimes ideas come to me when I am in a state of no mind, which I'm not thinking about anything. I'm just there. I'm just being. And ideas will flood me. Sometimes that happens when I'm on the yoga mat where I've managed to stop thinking and I'm just in the flow of the breathing and the movement and then I'll get all of these ideas. Oh, do this, try that, blah, blah, blah. You, you have to find times, moments where you can actually do that. And Everybody is different for everybody. You have children, you have to figure out how to maneuver space in your busy life for yourself so that you can sit quietly. And if the clarity doesn't come in that moment because you've opened the door, it can come to you at any point in your day, but you have to let it in. You know, clarity, we tend to think of some of these things of having to chase it. You know, you have to chase clarity. You have to chase quiet. No, you have to sit still for a moment. If that's all you got time for, a moment is better than none.
a moment dedicated to, I'm going to have a moment of time. And if the baby starts crying or your children want your attention, you've taken that one moment and maybe you will make a better decision as a result of that. It doesn't take a lot of time. We think, you know, you have to sit for a long, protracted period of time. But if you become more accustomed to finding a moment and then a moment here and then a moment here and then a moment here those moments add up so don't worry about so much oh you know I want to meditate and I don't have time just think in terms of stringing moments together a moment when you first wake up a moment when you go out for lunch if you go out for lunch a moment if you don't go out for lunch and you have a working lunch take a moment before you open up your food moment for me okay back to work but you see what I just did I inhaled and I exhaled on purpose sometimes that's all you need sometimes that serves as a boost to help you keep going I'm gonna do it again Okay, ready to go back to work. It didn't take that much time. But for that moment, with my eyes closed, I took a conscious breath in, a purposeful breath in through my nose, and a purposeful, this is the part, exhale, a purposeful exhale. Oh, it's noisy over here, huh? <laughs> a purposeful exhale. Because that's the part, that's why they, they, uh, Terry McMillan wrote a book, Waiting to Exhale, because a lot of us hold our breath. So in that moment that I just took, I took an inhale on purpose and an exhale on purpose. And you want to make the exhalation longer than your inhale. The other thing you want to think in terms of is listening to the space in between the in-breath and the out breath. There's a pause before you take air in and before you you um, exhale. And just that's just enough time for you to reset and be ready to hit that project, pick up your child, <laughs> solve a fight that's going on between your si you know, young siblings. But you have to figure out how to make the time to do that. And as you just saw, you don't have to spend a lot of time, but you want to repeat that each time. You want to find the time and get creative. You know, you can look at your day and go, oh, there just is not any time to do. You guys can go that way if you wanted to. <laughs> I'm shooting myself. <laughs> I know. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi, guys. <laughs> That's, but I appreciate you for that. <laughs> See, kindness is everywhere. You just have to be aware that it is it surrounds you. But that's a whole nother mindfulness moment talk. This is about gaining clarity. And actually, that was clarity right there. Noticing them coming. Noticing that they decided, oh, she could be shooting something and we don't want to get in her way. And noticing that they did that. And acknowledging, because that's the other part of it. When you notice things, acknowledge. Ah, I took a breath today. I took a moment today. Not the beat up, ah, I didn't do this and I should have done that. That's not clarity. That's not where clarity lives. Give yourself credit. I took a moment. That's all I could find time for. I took that moment. That's a check mark in that list. Maybe the next day you'll take two moments. And it does take creativity. Nobody can tell you, I think, how you can organize your day better. I mean, yeah, people say, oh, you know, you do this and you do that. The thing is, if this is something that you want, you will create the time. And as I said, it's just a matter of a moment at a time. That's really all we have is a moment at a time. And the choice is, what are you doing with that moment? So join me.
close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Again, take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Keep going. I'm going to walk toward the water so you can hear the sound. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Hopefully you're beginning to hear the sound of the water. Breathe in. And out. Breathing in and out. Breathing in, exhaling out. Breathing in and breathing out. One more. Breathe in and out. The next time that you do this, when you find time to just take a moment, you can open your eyes now. I, I found my water. When you just look to carve out times and moments, ask a question. If there's something that you're struggling with, as you get more verse, more accustomed to finding moments in your day to just take that breath in and out, maybe there's something that you're wrestling with, as I said. Breathe in on the inhale, ask the question. On the exhale, into silence. On the inhale, keep it simple, whatever that question is. And exhale in silence and just to repeat that asking that question that you have and you then go what are please show me solutions so when you repeat the in breath I am open to solutions or please show me solutions or however you want to phrase that it's always I think best when it's in your own words However you want to phrase that. Asking for solutions. Try not to dwell on the problem. And then go on about your day. Come back to it. Repeat it. And whatever that thing is that you've been wrestling with because you're only looking at that problem and how bad the problem is and all of the things that could go wrong with the problem. Starting to take those moments of asking for clarity with the question of how, you know, Whatever it is, how do I solve this? How do I solve this? That's what you want to know. And as time goes on, you will receive the answers because you're opening a door, opening a window, actually, to receiving. Because that's what clarity is. You have to be in receiver mode. Receiving the clarity. Hearing the clarity. Recognizing the clarity. So as you move through your day, may you bump into, fall into, trip over, however it works, into clarity. Start by asking for it, asking to be in receivership of it, and you will receive it. It's always the question of recognizing. We receive things, but we don't always recognize it. Or acknowledge it. So when you receive your answers to this in, in solutions to what you're looking to have clarified, acknowledge and, and be grateful and acknowledge that you are in receivership of this that you're asking for. May you enjoy your day or your night, become more present and aware as you move through your day. Listen better to the people around you. When your children are trying to get your attention, actually give it to them. 
without doing 40,000 other things. If another person is talking to you, give them your full attention. I know you're like, oh, I got 10,000 things to do. Do one thing at a time. Focus and speak to that person. That is also where clarity lies because there may be something in their body language, in their tone that you've been missing because your brain is split between them and whatever other things that you're doing. Clarity is an interesting thing. May you be in receivership. Thank you for your time. I'm Jackie Bird, Jackie Bird Spiritual Woman. That's what happens when you think you press the button and you didn't. <laughs>